Morning folks, hope you had a good weekend and uh, for those in the UK, today's a bank holiday and as usual, it's cloudy, overcast and and not a bit warm. Anyway, here we are, we're not bothered about the weather, sitting in my studio. Uh, this is a piece of uh, Saunders Waterford 90 pound cold pressed paper. Okay, so I've been doing the uh, Lakeland scenes with the mountains in the back, so this is not going to be an exception. I'm going to this one, this is the one that didn't, I seem to have vanished it from the, the laptop yesterday. I, I did one for you, I did one for Patreon, and I did one for you, but it didn't, uh, didn't survive, shall we say. Uh, usual palette, I'll give the uh, paper a bit of a bit of colour very quick oh, let's have a touch of burnt sienna in there now we're going with the uh, with some uh, bit of uh, sun or blue sky anyway pull out the hairs this hair this acre's about it with this this paper you can it'll stay open a lot longer with a bit of a shadow cloud I mean Keep the colour, but just get a bit of this. Okay, so that's our, that's our sky. <coughs> it really is as quick as that. So let's uh, tighten it up a bit. I'll dry it with a hair dryer and I'll mute you. Okay, now you can see the. Uh, it's not very colourful, this, I'm afraid. I'll just see if I can. That's a bit better. It's not really showing the, the blue, uh, more white balance. You can, you can see, you can't, it's not really coming out the, the nice burnt sienna, but you can see immediately how diffuse that has gone. And I've dried it to fix it, but you can, fiddle around with it quite a bit before it goes into that state where it causes all the colored flowers and you've got about a couple of minutes when it's all nice and wet so now we can just start to put in the uh, background uh, same that colors of that cloud oh this this has just had it now i'll go change it i feel like uh, when, they, when they start misbehaving you feel like uh, snapping the handle so you can't use it again but I won't be so drastic All right, let's get some of that bit of blue Now, I don't normally uh, draw the horizon with a pencil. Let's 
Well, oh, that's more or less okay. If you get it a bit wrong and you want to put it in a mount, it, you can just alter the mount to suit the horizon. It's going uphill very, very slightly. We can just bring that back there. Okay, there we are. Now we're going to put some land in. We can use a bit of that burnt sienna, a bit of, bit of Payne's Grey. Let's get a bit of green. This is going to be very similar to the ones I have been doing, but they will end up different. Pull the hairs out. So I've just got any hairs left. Oh, it's got a bit of sienna in there, sort of sienna. Uh, some grasses now, some greeny stuff. do with that is to use a Frank Clark's brush to uh, show the salt, salt marshes. But just, well, what am I going to do with this? Do this? No, that's not, not worth There's too much water on there in the hake. Let's take some out. Okay, so that, that's uh, enough of that. I'll give it a dry again. So I'll give it to you. Okay, now um, there's a bit of a cauliflower developed there, so we, well, I'll go over that with another wash. I'll use uh, my medium hake and Okay, uh, dry again. Okay, uh, it, the, 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 this one goes into the oasis soil or the tide marks, um, probably because I hadn't dried it sufficiently and there was still some moisture left in the paper which came through and then caused the problem. But uh, it all adds to the character of painting, but I got rid of it anyway. Uh, so let's put in some good dark. This 
this paper doesn't lift out like the uh, studio paper. Right, let's go to some autumn colours. Uh, raw sienna. I want that dark in uh, in here just to give the shadow under the trees. Let's just kind of see if we can get a bit of this out. It does a little bit. Right, I can do a bit of dark filigree in there as well. Um, I'm, now I'm going to use Frank Clark's lovely large hake it's much more hairy than the uh, than the ransom hake I'm sure you've seen this one before you probably own it or own one of them let's uh, get the uh, yellow That's a little bit of texture, just you create, try to create a, an illusion of something going on. Got lots of, very sense of lots of nice hairs. Now we don't really want to overdo this. Let's uh, do a little bit of a
Is there anything that makes a, a reflection? Will you pull up, pull down? Could have put some background in, but I'm just fiddling around with this burnt sienna and Payne's grey, a lovely dark bedfellows. I always say that, but they are. Well, it all just adds a little bit to it. I'll like just go and do the, uh, do the background trees on here. So blue, bit of red. Don't want them too, too heavy. Let's just see how we go. Right, okay, I'll dry that off and I can put some bit of dry brush along there. Okay, so let's get some uh, blue in across there, reflecting a bit of the sky. Quite faint. Oops. Right now, I'm going to a little bit dark, well mixed, just a grey palette green, and just Okay, I'll try that. So that more or less uh, shows some reflections of the hills of the trees. It's just in there, very faint. And we'll put in some birds, some doing birds. And Okay, well that's quite nice and simple, isn't it? One puts a couple of put it in the mount. And we'll have a look what's going on. Let's get some tape. So where you can get your horizon nice and straight. It's a bit waggly along there, but it doesn't matter about that. Uh, so there we are. I'm not really sure what, what that's going to come out like on it. A little better. This mount is is ivory white. It comes up blue on the on the screen. Uh, 
Anyway, I'll, I'll post a photograph of this on my Dave Usher artist page on Facebook. And I hope you, hope you like that one, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.